What's up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist back at it again and I'm bringing you another 40 facts on the Necron Armory. But this time, we will be dealing with their ranged weaponry. So without further ado, let's begin the lore on the Necron weaponry. The Goss Flayer, the basic weapon of the Necrons. This weapon works by breaking down enemies at a molecular level, and therefore, even this basic weapon can bring down heavy enemy tanks. The Goss Blaster. This is a more powerful version of the Goss Flayer. It is capable of firing on the move and has a higher rate of fire as well. Particle Weapons. Particle weapons emit a stream of tiny antimatter particles that detonate on contact with other matter. They consist of the particle caster, the particle beamer, particle shredder, and the particle whip. The particle whip utilizes a tightly focused particle beam to carry a powerful bolt of energy towards the target. Once discharged, the whip also damages any targets within a small radius. The Transdimensional Beamer. This weapon shifts material, whether organic or metal, into a different dimension. The Synaptic Disintegrator. This long-range rifle fires a compressed beam that disintegrates synaptic tissue. The Tesla Weapons. These weapons utilize living lightning that char flesh and melt armor. The lightning oftentimes arcs from foe to foe, slaying multiple enemies with a single shot. They consist of the Tesla Carbine, the Tesla Cannon, the Tesla Destructor, which is the most destructive and largest of these weapons, and the Tesla Sphere, which are medium-ranged anti-air weapons often seen on obelisks. The Thermal Cutting Beam these beams are capable of carving and disassembling solid matter at a fast pace. They are used by the Canoptic Archanthrites. The Goss Annihilator. This weapon is mounted only on the pylons of the Necrons. It fires in two modes. The first is similar to a particle whip, and the second firing mode delivers a volley of armor-destroying shots. The Goss Cannon is a four-barrel version of the Goss Blaster that delivers death farther and has a higher rate of fire. The Goss Exterminator. Often seen on a sentry pylon, this weapon fires a long-range beam capable of reducing aircraft and fortifications to smoldering rubble and twisted metal. The Goss Obliterator. This devastating weapon requires a lot of energy to fire. If the monolith itself does not have enough energy, it will siphon energy from surrounding monoliths to power it. The sickly green blast is capable of reaping a vast tally of both infantry and vehicles in a single shot. The Heavy Goss Cannon This powerful version of the Goss Cannon is equipped on a Necron Heavy Destroyer. It is slower, but vastly more destructive. It can easily puncture the thickest of armor of a Land Raider and reduce it to mere molten slag. The Heat Ray is mounted on Triarch Stalkers and it can fire its beam in two modes. The Dispersed mode sends plasma swirling in many directions. Anyone caught by it will be boiled alive. The Focused Beam, however, will simply melt away any foe, be it organic or metallic. The Heat Cannon. This heavy melt -a weapon burns through armor with ease. It is usually mounted atop a sentry pylon. The Doomsday Cannon. This is one of the most feared weapons of the Necrons. Even when fired on low power, it instantly obliterates enemy heavy armor. Nothing less than the void shields of a Titan can hope to stop the annihilation brought by this fearsome weapon. The Death Ray. This weapon utilizes a crystal and focuses a white, superheated beam to vaporize enemy tanks and infantry. They come equipped on the Necron Doom Sights. The Exile Cannon. This powerful weapon is mounted on Tomb Sentinels. Any object blasted by this ancient weapon are torn from this dimension and twisted and hurled beyond the realms of the material universe. 
And with that, we have finished going through the armory and war gear of the ancient Necrons. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, and if you want to continue the Necron lore. Or maybe you guys want to switch over to the Imperium and learn more about these Loyalist Space Marine chapters. It's all up to you guys, just let me know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more epic 40k content. You guys know me as a Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I am signing out. Oh, <laughs>